Greetings from Kentucky. It is All Natural November, day 19. I also thought I'd run through some face foods with you because I have quite a few of them and they are absolutely a standby in my routine. Without further ado, here's a look, All Natural November, day 19. Okay, here is the palette. Let's start with the lips today. On the lips, I have red clay. And I love red clay because it really stains the lips and gives me a really nice, deep red lip. Just to bring a little bit of light to that lip, I did use some of this Aztec Gold Lip Gloss. Just in the center. Now, let's go to the cheeks. I know, I'm out of order today. Oh well. Right here is the Everyday is a Good Day Cream Blush. And I also have on the peachy rose over that. For the eyes, let me start with the easy part. On the lid is this shade here, Honey Gold, and it's probably just catching the light. That is all you're going to see. I did do quite a bit of work in the crease today. Underneath, for example, I have on the Diva Stick in Fawn, which gives me just ever so light of a contour. And then I took the Diva Stick in dark brown and I put that on the lid and darkened it into the cut part of the crease right in the center there. A lot of work went into the crease. Let me go ahead and show you what I have there. First of all, I have this shade Cherry Bomb and it's a duochrome cherry colored green. The next thing I did is took this shade Green Gold and deepened up the outer V. And finally, I took a fluffy brush with one of my favorite colors, Brandied Peaches and just put that right in this area here just to kind of bring some warmth to the look. In terms of liner, I tight lined with the Diva Stick in dark brown. I then took the liner, that black, and made a really thin line on the top. On the lower lash line, I have this shade here, Antique Copper. So that is running underneath and then mascara, top and bottom lashes. I did contour with that combination of angel dust and suntan, like that combination, figured it wouldn't mess with that. And that is the look for All Natural November, day 19. Now on to face foods. Face foods are cleansers, that's what they do, but they're also masks, they're treatment masks. I'm not afraid to use them every day. They're gentle. I use them as cleansing treatment masks, addressing things like moisture, fine lines, discoloration, hyperpigmentation. The other thing I love about face foods is they're dry, so super easy to travel with. I don't have to worry about putting it in a clear baggie that then I have to get through security because it's a liquid. It's a dry product and that's fantastic for traveling. I have face foods from the All Natural Face, which I enjoy a great deal. I also have what I would consider a face food from One Love Organics. It's called Brand New Day. It's a pineapple extract. Love this. Definitely like to keep this One Love Organics Brand New Day in my collection. I also have two face foody kind of products from Shaytera. One is this Moroccan Argan Nut. Of everything I have, this is the one I like the least because it's really large particles and a bit on the scratchy side. And of course, it's a ginormous jar of it, which I'll have to use. I probably should have sent it back and exchanged it for another product because Shaytera has a window of time when you can return a product that you don't like and get something else instead. And it was just my bad not to do that. I also have this Baobob and Coconut Water Smoothing Vita Enzyme Facial Mask, which is like a, a face food. It's a dry product. And this one I like okay, although I like the All Natural Face face foods better, and I like the One Love Organics better. So wouldn't repurchase either of the Shea Terra face food or dry mask from the All Natural Face. Some of the face foods I've tried, there are seven of them. Yeah, seven. It is a lot. The one I tried recently that I loved was the Bananas and Cream. It leaves your face so soft, and I loved that particularly in combination with the Celtic Complexion Exfoliating Product. That was a wonderful, wonderful combo. In terms of the others that I have, I have the Peaches and Cream. Peaches and Cream is kind of a general all-over skin treatment. This one I probably won't repurchase just because I like the others better. I know next on my list is the Strawberries Banana combo just because the strawberries will do 
antioxidant work and do some skin lightening work and the bananas will soften it up. So I'm really excited to try this strawberries and banana face food. And that's something I would get instead of this peaches and cream. I then have two that do roughly the same thing. One is the lemon peel and coconut milk and the other is the oranges and cream. Both of these really address hyperpigmentation. They do other things as well, but that's what I use them for in my routine. Basically with both of these, you want to make sure you take it all the way off because both of these products can make you sun sensitive, but I have no problem with them because I rinse them off with the Clarisonic. I use a toner over them. Even if I use them during the day, I'm going to put sunscreen over them. I just don't have any issues. Of the two of them, I prefer the lemon. Another that I have is the avocado and cucumbers. This makes kind of a green muddy mass. And when I first tried this I wasn't wild about it and now I like it a lot. It really addresses moisture. This is another I like to use in tandem with the Celtic Complexion exfoliating product and I would definitely pick up more of the avocados and cucumber. The last two that I have are the strawberries and cream, that's a fan favorite, and the cherries and cream. And these work roughly in the same way, cherries and cream, by far my favorite. Next to this one Love Organics brand new day. Cherry is my favorite. And the way I like to use this is I mix it with a little bit of red flower oil and a little bit of honey. That's another way that I use my face foods. I put a little bit of the face food in. I'll put an oil that I like in. But sometimes I'll use a serum and then I'll put in honey, put those onto a moist face and then Clarisonic it off after I've let it sit for a while. And I finish that with some sort of rose toner. I always enjoyed the face food routine, that cleansing mass time. I can kind of practice my deep yoga, zen breathing when it's on. So it's just a good, good thing for me to do. I enjoy spending that time with my skin, I guess you could say, which sounds a little odd, but you know, love the skin you're in, right? On another skincare front, it's a dead soldier. Yes, I finished up my Celtic Complexion Cream, my big jar. I am using this twice a day now. The dry season has hit. We do have heat on in the house a lot. There's a lot of wind outside. Wind just seems to wick that moisture right out of my skin. But when I have this on, it doesn't happen. So yes, twice a day for me. Most of you would not use this twice a day, but I am menopausal and uber dry. On another note, you're going to get a little bit of a break from All Natural November, I think. I'm getting ready to travel to a meeting in New York City this Thursday. So I'll do a look for Thursday, but I probably won't do one for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's when I will be in the meeting in New York. Between the New York City hotels, which tend to be on the dark side, not a lot of natural light, I guess, because of those tall skyscrapers, and because I'm just going to be in meetings from like 8 in the morning till 8 at night or so, I won't have time to film. But I will continue with All Natural November Monday when I get back. And yes, next week is Thanksgiving week already. I'll be just racing to get Thanksgiving together since I'm doing the New York trip. As always, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you're up to in the comments, and if Google Plus allows me to answer them, I will. But know I'm thinking of you regardless. Of course, you know what I'm going to say next. Make it a great, great day. Bye.